People have been saying they want more range. A lot of EV buyers are saying, we want more range. The Tesla Model Y, it's good, but we want more range in an EV. Now, Tesla, well, they've responded to this with what I think is probably the best Tesla Model Y we've ever seen. And it's also the best value Tesla Model Y. Hopefully, it's coming to your country soon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. This is the model why I've been wait that I've been thinking, why have Tesla not made this before? I've thought this to myself many times. In fact, I still think this is about the Model 3 as well. Tesla should make a, a Model 3 version of this Model Y. Doing what they've done is just, its it makes so much sense. And I'm not the only one saying this. I've actually heard a lot of other people saying this. So I'm not just in a little crazy room here by myself thinking these crazy thoughts. The new version of the Model Y, it has 600 kilometers of WLTP range. So you're going to get pretty close to that range in the real world. It's got faster charging speed than the standard range of the, the standard range model of the Model Y. It charges about 170 kilowatt speeds. This is the, the version that charges at 250 kilowatt. And it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper than the Model Y dual motor. What Tesla has done here, guys, they've taken the Model Y long range, they've removed the front motor, made it lighter, and this has increased the range significantly. So it now has 600 kilometers of range on the WLTP cycle. That's 373 miles. Basically, this Tesla Model Y long range has 373 miles of range, and it's only three to four thousand dollars, depending on the country, only three to four thousand dollars more expensive than the standard range version. It's just a no brainer. I think Tesla is actually going to get a lot of sales as a result of this change. Unfortunately, at the moment, this change has only been made to the Model Y that's been manufactured in Germany. So it's available to um, almost every country in Europe. It's only a matter of time before the only country I think it's missing is France at this point in time, but they'll be added to the list as well. There's a whole list of a whole big long list of countries in Europe that now you can buy the Tesla Model Y long range uh, single motor in. And this is the real long range. Maybe they should change the name of the long range because now this is this is the actual longest range Tesla Model Y you can buy. So guys, if you're in America, if you're in Australia, uh, if you're in Thailand or you know New Zealand, Canada, we don't have this version yet. I actually think it's just a matter of time before Tesla make this version at their factory in Fremont, California, and also at the factory in China. Meaning, I think it's very, very likely this version of the Model Y long range will be rolled out worldwide. And think about it, right? If it's say $5,000 more expensive to get this version, even though it's actually a bit less than that, but if it's say four to $5,000 more expensive than the standard range to get this much range in your Model Y uh, and to have the faster charging speeds versus the standard range model, I think a lot of people will want to buy it. Now, Tesla just, um, they just released a tweet. They said, introducing Model Y long range rear wheel drive, maximum range that allows you to commute all week without charging at an even more accessible price. Specs, 600 kilometers of WLTP range with 19 inch Gemini wheels. That's about 373 miles, 217 kilometer an hour top speed, lowest cost per kilometer in the electric SUV market, 14.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So this is the most efficient Model Y that Tesla make. It's available in Austria, Czechoslovakia, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, Norway, Sweden, Iceland, Italy, Greece, Poland, Slovenia, Romania, and Hungary. So clearly Tesla now have a production line, which we'd heard they were setting up a new production line at the Geek Factory in Berlin. Didn't know that this one is what it was for. Or maybe it's built on the same production line and Tesla just put one less motor in it. I'm not really sure. Either way, that's a pretty substantial improvement because the Tesla Model Y standard range model, you know, the cheapest Model Y, that has 280 miles of range, 282 miles in Europe. That's 455 kilometers on the WLTP cycle. So you're talking 145 kilometers more range. It's a pretty big difference, nearly 100 miles more range. 
The Model Y long range dual motor all wheel drive, which is quite a bit more expensive than this model in Europe. It's about 6,000 euros more. That has a WLTP range of 533 kilometers, which is 331 miles, meaning this vehicle has 42 miles more range than the existing longest range Tesla Model Y you can buy anywhere in the world. It's a pretty big improvement. I mean, that's what, about a 13% range improvement with a discount of 6,000 euros. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I think it's gonna sell really well. The Model Y Performance, that has WLTP range of 514 kilometers, which is 319 miles. So this has 54 miles more range than the Model Y Performance, but the same charging speeds. Now to give you guys a direct price comparison, it's not really fair to, to do this, but just gives you an idea. The Model Y long range rear wheel drive, it costs 49,000 uh, euros. That's the average price in Europe. That's 52,000 US dollars. I would estimate that if Tesla bring this version of the Model Y to the US, it would cost 45 to 46,000 US dollars. That's my estimate. Australia, if we get it, I'd estimate it would cost in Australia around about 68,000 Australian dollars. My estimate for say New Zealand would be about 72,000 New Zealand dollars. Now as for China, honestly, I have no idea on what they'd price this at in China. Tesla's pricing in China seems to change fairly frequently. But the most interesting thing is here that the price difference is really big. It's 6,000 euro price difference between um, the existing Model Y long range, the all wheel drive version, and the rear wheel drive version. So the rear wheel drive version is 6,000 euros cheaper. That's 7,000 US dollars. Big, big, big price difference. I think it's gonna bring a lot of buyers to say, you know what? That's the kind of vehicle I was after. And for me personally, I'd be much more interested in this car if this was to come to Australia with this kind of range. Now, interestingly, there is actually a Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, but it's actually um, only sold to fleet and commercial customers, in particular in the UK, where it was launched in April of 2023. I don't know why Tesla haven't made that a, a, a version of the car, the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. I think it would sell really well, right? The estimated range of the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive is 394 miles WLTP. So that would be the longest range, basically be the longest range Tesla you can buy in most parts of the world, if that were actually available. What do you guys think? Should Tesla do that? Should they be offering the Model 3 in a long range rear wheel drive configuration? 394 miles of range. I think a lot of people would really be interested. Why doesn't Tesla do that? I actually don't know. Guys, what do you think about the new Model Y long range? I think it's going to be a big hit. I think this will be will provide Tesla with a pretty significant boost in their sales until they can actually begin selling the new Model Y Juniper, which will blow this out of the water. It'll be far, far better. Thanks for watching.